Fighters. I'm here with Ranger and Hoppy, and we wanted to say goodbye. We have loved teaching writing camp with you, and we're going to miss doing these lessons. Although, you know something exciting, writers? Ranger here is a therapy dog, and that means that he can come and visit at schools. And Hoppy here is learning. So maybe someday we can come and visit you at your school. But in the meantime, it's been so much fun teaching and learning with you and reading your writing. It's been great. So last time, I'm going to put these dogs away. We're going to do our last lesson, and then we'll say goodbye. Okay, writers, let's get going. So this week, we're writing reviews so we can get more books and websites and things for kids to read in their hands so that kids can keep reading all summer long. So remember yesterday, we read Mrs. Shepherd's review of A Stone Sat Still. And we learned a few things, right? We learned that she gave a big, bold opinion. We learned that she gave some reasons. She gave background information and she even thanked the author. Well, writers, I did that too. So I drafted a blog post to show you today so that you could see how I'm writing about books and using what Mrs. Shepard taught all of us. Now remember that if you write a review and you send it to me, you can send it via Padlet, your teacher can send it on Twitter or an email, we will post your review on Teachers, Books, and Readers. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes in Teachers, Books, and Readers website so you can see a draft post. Here's my post. So this is what it looks like when we write a post. And so this is the part you're gonna look at today. So I did the website Rivet and I put a title, just like Mrs. Shepard, free online books for emergent readers. Right? I wanted kids to find books that they love and make them feel strong as readers. So listen to my beginning. I knew Rivet was a hit when I opened the website to show a kindergartner and he cheered during our digital chat. Wow, are these books? Can we read these? Look at these covers. Do you see how I put some photos of the books so, to get kids excited so that they might wanna read these too? Now, I, my, my lead continues. The next day, his enthusiasm continued. Wait, is that a book about gummy alligators? And again, I added another image. Did you see how I used this student's excitement to start my book review? Right? You might share your excitement or another student's excitement or a conversation you had about a book. And then I go on. The following day he asked, do you think they have books about big cats? Can we look? And there I show it. Now, here's some of my reasons. The options for readers on this website feel endless. Kids can read books about adventures, animals, arts and crafts, science, sports, vehicles, and so much more. The real photographs and engaging covers capture students' attention immediately. Did you see that, readers? Did you see how I gave some reasons and then gave some details about those reasons, right? So that people know a little bit of information and why they might wanna check out this website this summer. Now let's look a little bit about how I ended it um, so I can help you a little bit with your ending. Here we go. Right here, I'll start. Getting enough books in emergent readers' hands is always tricky and the pandemic has made it even trickier. Thanks, Rivet, for giving students a way to read engaging texts all summer long. I tried a little bit of what Mrs. Shepard did, right? I tried to thank the company um, because it's a, it's a company sell, um, with putting out these free books. I tried to thank them. That's how I did it. And then I started to end with a little bit of if you want to learn more, right? That's that background information. So writers, you've got this. You can do this. So find any text you've read or your teacher has read aloud. You don't have to have the text at home. Maybe you've heard your teacher read aloud or maybe you've been listening to books online. All of that is great. Think about the website you've read. Think about the books maybe you've read on Epic or Raz Kids. Think about if you've loved Time for Kids or Epic um, or Wonderopolis. Think about what you've loved 
and tell other kids why you loved it and why they should read it so that kids can read all summer long. Writers, I wanna thank you for joining Writing Camp. I wanna thank your teachers for using these videos to create their own or for sharing a couple of them with all of you. I also wanna thank all the kids who sat down and did some writing. I've enjoyed reading so many pieces that you've written. Some your teachers have sent me, some you've put on Padlet, and I've learned a lot by reading your writing and you've made me smile. So happy writing and happy summer.